how to use uh, MWF technology, MWF software, and MWF tools, and how to assess heart rate variability or HRV and heart rate coherence or HRC throughout the use of MWF uh, tool and software. Actually, it is one of the easiest and most uh, uh, applicable and easily applicable way to assess our uh, heart rate variability and heart rate coherence throughout the use of uh, the MWF technology, which are just uh, and we have to install uh, the MWF Pro or MWF uh, software to our computers, and also to have the devices, which includes a, a main device. And with device, we attach to our uh, laptop, uh, which uh, already uh, installed the uh, software, and also this the uh, air sensor, uh, which includes two very small uh, scanners. Uh, we attach this to our ears. Uh, first, we have to attach the uh, sensor to the main uh, MWF tool. And uh, before that, before the uh, starting the process, we have to have the MWF Pro, the updated MWF Pro software. Then we have to attach this to the uh, ear loop of our client or uh, the person of our research, or even ourselves. We uh, when we assess the levels of our own. Uh, heart rate variability and heart coherence. Actually, the MWF uh, technology includes uh, uh, three main uh, uh, processes uh, to assess uh, the level of heart coherence and heart rate variability. At first, when we uh, try to assess the heart rate variability or coherence of ourselves or uh, uh, our uh, clients or participants of our studies, at first we have to uh, here, when we see, uh, we have to add user uh, to uh, add the person uh, uh, which is under our uh, study. We have to, uh, I already recorded my name here, Abdul Khar Zaguri, and we have to fix here the time in uh, some, uh, some uh, particular time or uh, seasons which we start. Uh, when we use uh, the heart coherence or heart rate variability, the, the first option is. Uh, the option we use for the assessment of heart coherence, actually it's uh, the, easy, the easiest way to assess our heart coherence. And also the second option, uh, when we assess uh, one minute uh, heart rate deep breathing assessment or uh, uh, actually a little longer heart rate assessment. But at first we try to use uh, heart rate coherence uh, technique uh, or HRC. Uh, actually when we attached uh, the device to our uh, ear loop, we will start the recording, but uh, we have to, if we uh, collect the data from ourselves or from our client or uh, the person of our studies, we have to be sure that uh, before the data collection, uh, uh, we or our clients did not take a uh, uh, heavy meal at least one and a half hours before the data collection or did not under uh, particular stress or did not uh, jump away or rushed to come to our uh, laboratory. That's why when we start, just when we attached the uh, ear sensor to our uh, ear loop, and also the MWF uh, tool attached to our laptop, which already uh, the MWF uh, software is installed, and we just start. Uh, click the start and just sit. Close this.
and uh, now we will stop the process because uh, we just uh, show how to use this uh, when we see uh, because uh, I'm under a little stress that's why I uh, uh, I'm recording uh, the video uh, uh, the level of my uh, score uh, uh, coherence score 38 percent under medium and 36 to under uh, low uh, and we uh, also see the different parts of data here uh, if we uh, converted coherence uh, we can see uh, different uh, points of data we have, uh, here we can see some graphs and uh, different kinds and parts of also data and we see that uh, uh, when we use uh, different uh, parts of uh, graphs and different uh, kinds of graphs in our uh, coins, but actually when we use uh, the easiest way, uh, the scores of uh, coherence which shown in the uh, low, medium and high uh, levels of the scores and this is the easiest way to assess our uh, health coherence score through the use of uh, heart rate uh, variability uh, technology and in wave technology but when we assess more uh, things and more uh, options, uh, we use this part of uh, the and with software or in with technology at first there is the first option to assist uh, one way uh, deep breathing assessment when we uh, want to assist uh, just for one win uh, one minute our deep breathing uh, ability because uh, sometimes it's very important to uh, use uh, uh, the uh, deep breathing uh, practices to improve our heart rate uh, variability in our heart coherence and our heart rate coherence that's why uh, the first one is the uh, one minute uh, deep breathing assessment when we uh, attach our uh, ear sensor to the uh, ear loop and also uh, attach the uh, uh, M-Wave tool to the laptop which is already uh, with the installation of uh, M-Wave software, M-Wave Pro software, we just use select and just uh, after the uh, uh, management of four procedures we just start uh, uh, press the button on start and also the process will be started actually when we collect the data from ourselves to assess our uh, heart coherence or our uh, heart rate variability or from others uh, ourselves uh, we and other people may not uh, will not talk during uh, data collection procedure but now I have to talk because I have to uh, introduce and explain the process and steps here the process started we can see a graph here and also the graph should here to uh, the level of because now I'm not under the uh, deep breathing because I'm talking and I'm explaining the process but I want to just to show uh, the first option from this uh, section is that uh, first uh, one minute uh, deep breathing assessment and now I stop uh, or cancel because it's not a regular data collection processes and the second uh, option and also the most important option is uh, HRV or heart rate variability assessment in this uh, option we can assist our heart rate variability or our heart rate variability of other people uh, for two minutes for five minutes or for even for longer for uh, many hours but uh, for shorter studies and uh, valuable studies uh, it's better to use the option of five minutes and uh, actually we have to uh, use the name of the participant and also arrange uh, the process just when we uh, attach the uh, ear sensor in the uh, technology in ear loop just we uh, start uh, select the uh, option which is uh, hrv assessment or heart rate vari uh, variability assessment and just we start the process when we start uh, the process uh, when we start uh, the process through uh, clicking in uh, this uh, when we see there is a graph is started to be recorded and also uh, here actually through uh, the process of uh, data collections uh, in heart rate variability uh, heart coherence and also one unit uh, deep breathing assessments uh, we can collect uh, graphs digits and also uh, some particular uh, structures of data indications for uh, our uh, breathing and also our uh, heartbeat and also heart rate variability in our pulse it's mean that throughout the use uh, throughout the use of this very simple and uh, easily applicable uh, technology which is in with we can 
click the ditto uh, for our uh, uh, heartbeat, for our heart rate variability, and for our uh, pulse and breathing as well. And now I we'll stop this. Uh, uh, that's why when we uh, want to assess uh, our heart rate variability, our heart rate coherence, or our uh, deep breathing procedures, uh, the use of M-Wave technology, one of the most easiest and applicable and also uh, val uh, valuable ways. Actually, through uh, different studies, especially by the uh, Hartmut Institute and also some other uh, researchers and uh, uh, scientific institutions, they, uh, through their studies and the results of their studies, uh, it became clear that uh, uh, M-Wave uh, procedure and M-Wave, uh, especially M-Wave Pro uh, software tool and uh, procedure are uh, uh, valuable uh, and also trustable to assist our heart rate variability, our heart coherence, and to collect the data for our studies or to assist uh, our daily uh, heart rate variability and heart coherence and even uh, do some particular practices to improve the levels of our heart coherence overall well-being and heart rate variability. That's why when we use at first, uh, we have to install the software and uh, we have to uh, uh, have the uh, particular tool, uh, uh, air sensor and uh, M-Wave uh, tool and also uh, attach all things to a laptop or maybe another uh, desktop or any uh, available uh, uh, technology or uh, uh, tool that help us to collect data. And uh, the easiest way, uh, the first uh, process is uh, uh, heart coherence or heart rate, uh, heart rate coherence uh, process assessment procedure. It, it is as, uh, the easiest way because when we assess our heart rate uh, coherence, we can see uh, the uh, level of our heart rate coherence through uh, different graphs. And also when we click on one graph, just one graph, uh, uh, we can see the uh, details. Uh, actually, when we talked, there are some disconnections between the graph and also we can see uh, the data. It means that it is easy to uh, 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 write about or in, uh, indicate the data from uh, heart, rate, heart rate coherence data collection procedures. It's easy. But when we collect data uh, to assess our heart rate uh, uh, variability, we need uh, some particular assessments because without assessments, we may not uh be able to explain the procedure that's why if we want to uh, assess our heart rate variability assess our heart rate coherence or our hrv and hrc uh, it is the easiest way uh, and uh, trusted way to use uh, m wave technology and m wave software and easily uh, assess our heart rate variability and heart uh, rate coherence and also assess the heart rate level of heart rate variability and heart uh, coherence of other people and do some practices to increase our, the levels of our heart rate variability and our heart coherence to have our heart coherence to have our all, uh, uh, overall well-being and good uh, internal uh, psychological well-being and internal uh, coherence. Uh, I'm Dr. Abdul Qahar Sarwari. If you think such videos are helpful for you, please kindly subscribe the channel. Thank you.